one very important question guys right especially given the fact that we are sitting now in these months where in typically like four or five months are remaining right for your exams now the pro big problem is which i'm sure you all might have faced is right now especially for the kids who are in 12th class now there are boards which are coming up yeah. okay then there is this j mains which is just after that and then there is j advanced okay and before that there is also pre boards and parents also have their own expectation ki beta board mein bhi acha karna hai right and j mains mein bhi achhi rank lani hai j advanced mein bhi karna hai many students get confused ki j mains pata nahi advanced mein rank will come or not so should i concentrate on mains or not so it's very confusing you know for students at this stage that how do i manage my time what do how do i optimize preparation for boards versus mains versus advanced so there's lot of you know confusion around it can you help with some solution around this that you know how how do you recommend a child at this stage at this time should proceed you know with this thing any 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 suggestions any recommendations on that right so i think we can like backtrack the whole process seeing that the final aim is to get admitted into one of the best colleges in india right so a child will usually have a reasonable target on a college which he wants to get into and i think by the time he reaches the stage wherein he has to prepare for his boards and his pre board which is the end of 12th he'd know what kind of colleges he is targeting and based on that he knows that is is his prime preparation is he preparing for j advanced or is preparing for j mains and based on that you need to see what you need like what what is required if your prime preparation is for j advanced then j mains is just an exam which you have to clear a cut off for and because there's a lot of overlap between the syllabus between je mains and advanced there are only a very few topics which you need to additionally study for the je mains so i feel there's no extra preparation required for the je mains other than those few additional topics which do not happen to be in je advanced syllabus mm -hmm. right and yeah and uh, coming to your survey when do you start preparing for these boards right and stop your je preparation I mean, is that the way to do it, or you say that you should do it simultaneously in parallel? Like, what what would you suggest? How did you do it, and what would you suggest? Actually, see, a subject-wise strategy is that physics and chemistry. So, the boards we have mostly NCERT. So, my preparation was such that when the boards come, then physics and chemistry will be NCERT. सो एन सी आर टी अब बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है मेन्स के लिए भी एडवांस के लिए भी सो उस पीरियड में एन सी आर टी पढ़ ली तो बोर्ड्स की प्रिपरेशन भी अच्छे से होगी एंड देन मेन्स एंड एडवांस की प्रिपरेशन भी हो जाएगी मैथ्स के लिए बोर्ड्स अगर आप मेन्स की इतनी अच्छी तैयारी कर रहे हो तो आई गेस बोर्ड्स में प्रॉब्लम नहीं आती सो एंड फिजिकल एंड इंग्लिश के लिए थोड़ा थोड़ा पढ़ के एक महीने में हो जाता है एक महीने में तो ये सही कि जनवरी से पढ़ना अगर शुरू कर दो तो काफ़ी हो जाएगा राइटन <laughs> it's you know the preparation of boards mains and advance is very sequential and basically if you have covered the basics you already have covered a lot of ground for your board exams right so i think uh, last one and a half or two months preparation is more than enough for boards and as mains there are additional three four topics as he rightly said and only in the last days we if we cover those topics we can actually be well prepared but more than that it's about differentiating the preparation just in the these months right in the october november when your syllabus gets finished because if you are not well prepared for your advance and if you still are preparing only for that then you might not cover because mains and advance has two a, a distinguished differentiation and that is majorly around the approach in mains it's more like practice if you practice a lot of questions right easy questions you might get a good rank in mains right Uh, but in advance you require to understand those topics in detail so in advance you might skip few topics right may not complete the entire thing but for mains you have to complete the entire thing and therefore from october november and december i say that you prepare differently if you are not well prepared for your advance exam so that is the major difference i would like to add here 
on top of it. That's great. So I think especially for all the guys studying in 12th class right now, this is very important because I think all the students who are currently in 12th class uh, with just you know few months remaining, they would be confronted with this situation that there are boards, there is JE mains coming up, there is JE advance coming up. So I think most of the things which you know these toppers shared, I think try to incorporate that and that would really help you with your preparation and optimizing your score. Okay.